Hi, my name is Talia Nasi, and I'm a senior developer advocate here at AWS Serverless. This video is about understanding DynamoDB basics and terminology. There are five basic concepts in DynamoDB, tables, items, attributes, primary keys, and secondary indexes. The main concept in DynamoDB is a table. Tables are used to store data, and a table is made up of items. Items have attributes, one of which can be a primary key. Primary keys are made up of a partition key, which is mandatory, and a sort key, which is optional. The primary key is used to retrieve items from your table. DynamoDB supports two different kinds of primary keys, a simple primary key and a composite primary key. Simple primary keys are composed of just one attribute, the partition key. A simple primary key allows you to fetch only a single item at a time. It works well for one-to-one -one operations where you're only operating on individual items. A composite primary key is composed of two attributes, the partition key and the sort key. Composite primary keys enable a fetch many access pattern. With a composite primary key, you can query all items with the same partition key. Composite primary keys are great for handling relations between items in your data and for retrieving multiple items at once. On top of that, you have indexes that give you more flexibility to query. Let's review each of these, first in the DynamoDB console and then in the AWS CLI. From the AWS console, navigate to DynamoDB by using the search bar at the top of the page and searching for DynamoDB. On the left panel, choose Tables. To create a table, choose Create Table. When you create a table, in addition to the table name, you must specify the primary key of the table. Here, I'm going to create a table called Music with the primary key of Artist and a sort key of Song Title. Each item in the table must have these two attributes. The combination of Artist and Song Title distinguishes each item in the table from all of the others. To create an item from this DynamoDB table, choose Items in the left panel of the DynamoDB console and then choose your table. Here, choose Create Item. Each item is composed of one or more attributes. An attribute is a fundamental data element, something that does not need to be broken down any further. Here, we're going to add an item representing a song with an attribute named artist, with a value of Backstreet Boys, and another attribute of song title with an attribute of I want it that way. You can add more attributes to each item, but remember that primary key and sort key are required due to our configuration. Next, let's create a secondary index. A secondary index lets you query the data in the table using an alternate key, in addition to queries against the primary key and sort key. DynamoDB does not require that you use indexes, but they give your applications more flexibility when querying your data. After you create a secondary index on a table, you can read data from the index in the same way as you do from the table. DynamoDB supports two kinds of indexes, a global secondary index, which has a partition key and a sort key that can be different from those on the table, and a local secondary index, which has the same partition key as the table, but a different sort key. In our music table example, we can query using both the primary key of artist and the sort key of song title. However, what if we wanted to query by genre? From the table's homepage, choose Indexes, and then choose Create Index. Enter a partition key as genre. Now let's add a few items with different genres. Once we have these items created, we can go back and query by song title, artist, or genre. Let's recap. In the DynamoDB console, we created a table called Music, created a primary key called Artist, and a sort key called Song Title. Then we added an item, created a global secondary index, and queried our database. Let's do the same thing from the AWS command line interface. I went ahead and deleted the table we just created so that we can start fresh. The only prerequisite here is the AWS CLI. If you use Cloud9 as your text editor, it's already installed for you. In the first step, we will create a table called Music, just like before. 
and add our two attributes of artist and song title. We're using the create table command. For table name, we enter music, and we enter our two attribute definitions for our primary key and sort key, artist and song title. The output is a JSON of the table description that shows all of the details of the table. And to verify that DynamoDB has finished creating the music table, use the describe table command. We see that our music table is now active. Next, we're going to add a song to our table with the put item command. Now, let's add a global secondary index like before so that we can query by genre. With this update table command, I enter the table name and the new attribute I'm adding, in this case genre, and the new name of the global secondary index, in this case genre index. After I run this command, the output shows the new table description with the new index. Now we'll add two more items to our database with genres. Now let's query first by artist name and then by genre. Notice in the second query I add an attribute called index name to tell DynamoDB to use the genre index. In this video you learn the five basic concepts of DynamoDB. Tables, items, attributes, primary keys, and secondary indexes. You learned how to create them in both the AWS DynamoDB console as well as the AWS CLI. To learn more about Serverless and DynamoDB, head to serverlessland.com where you'll find more content from me and my team. I'm Talia Nasi. Thanks for tuning in.